What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. Hope you're all well. We're looking at quant today on the daily time frame. We'll start off with the clearest of charts and then we'll go to the messier ones. This is quant BUSD. Uh, this is just updating on the double bottom as well as the descending triangle. In the last updates over the, the weekend, we had this shooting star signal over here. And the direct next day we started to dump but just before that daily candle close you can see you held the 20 as support so this signal right there although i wasn't able to make a video for you guys i was updating people in the discord group chat that's available through the education those people uh, were in the chat discussing saying louis is this a spinning top now on the 20 although and does it invalidate yesterday's candle yes it does guys so this is what we need to understand very quickly things can get invalidated just like that. So here we had a bearish candlestick, a shooting star, and that means a signal to go down. We did go down, but of course, going down under the 20, while, so can you see, so we closed above, although it's a bearish signal, the direct next day we were below the 20, but because uh, the day before we closed above, of course the next day we should anticipate that it should hold even if we're below during the day just before the daily candle close we need to rise above this and confirm okay on the daily time frame this is support this is there it just needs to prove okay it is there so let's hold it as support showing us wicks to the downside so this over here the spinning top was your breakout signal over the weekend and it looks like that we have actually broken out of this smaller double bottom. We were talking about this scenario over uh, on Quant last week where we can actually pump all the way to 190 and I would still be worried uh, and I'll still be worried about potential lower prices afterwards. But yeah, at the moment we can see that this double bottom has broken out. We are just coming into these key resistances at the moment, okay? Uh, which are the moving averages. Just before that we get into the moving averages, course we had this descending resistance for the descending triangle now this is a bearish pattern and of course it's broken up out so if you remember in last week's update we were saying that if we were managing to to break through the emas over here we we should head to the range high and the range high is 134 dollars right here if you remember from last week's video so understand that this is resistance if we look to the left, it's also this potential left shoulders resistance. And we just extend this line into the future. And we can see right there that about $134 is our resistance of this. And yeah, our range high essentially. So we're trapped between 134 and 80, uh, 86. But you can see we came up and found support here and put in this higher load. That is essentially where we're holding right now. I just gave you the, the, the a nice psychological round number. $100 so yeah you can see that $100 is our demand zone and then our supply zone is 134 so I would need to see quant clearing this well done to quant because it actually did invalidate a bearish pattern which is the descending triangle over here so for now I'm going to get rid of this uh, downtrending line I don't need it because now I need uh, I need to focus on the EMAs essentially and all the previous highs going forward so we know we're trapped under this 134 left shoulder this is where we got rejected over here as well and right now it looks like we found support with yesterday's daily candle close within this wick over here 114 dollars closed above that and now we're trying to head towards the 200 daily EMA there is another moving average we've spoken about in the past on the channel which is the 69 EMA I wouldn't be surprised if we close below it today and get trapped between the 50 and the 69 don't worry i'd still believe that eventually you're going to get to the 200 that's what i think is going to happen we will be tapping 121 dollars at some point in the near future i just wanted to show you guys this 69 ema as well just to show you that yeah as long as we're below the 200 and we're not we haven't closed just yet above the blue on the 69 so that's why i just want to make you guys aware of it if we are starting to wick and there's a little bit of a wick and we are closing below 118 dollars tonight then you know your reason because of this ema if you're closing above 18 or 118 dollars there we go we know we're going to head to 121 it is as simple as that so if we're moving over now to another quant chart uh let me just find it for you guys right here Oh, my apologies. This one over here. Yes, this is the main one. The quant BTC, BTC USD with this extra wick over here. Most quant charts does not have this extra wick down to 86, but this one does. And as we zoom in, actually on this one already, you're coming up to the one, uh, the 200 EMA. So it is all about today's daily candle close. 
are we going to be able to push through this? Are we going to show, uh, is it going to show signs of weak rejections? Because this uh, moving average is taking the last 200 days and making an average. And so if you're below that average, then we're technically bearish. Eventually, we should expect rejections and weakness from this point. However, if we do manage to push through this, then of course we're changing a 200 day, uh, 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 yeah, well, we're just flipping things bullish, basically, on the higher time frames of daily. And again, the higher the time frame, the more accurate this becomes. So we want to, of course, flip these lower time frames uh, and eventually the higher time frames bullish. But yeah, of course, as, as we're still above 100, let's say you were in a long, it'd be good to have your stop loss below $100. Just so you know, if we lose 100, we're going down. As long as we're above it, it's going to act as this area of demand. That's why I've had this green box on the channel for a while now. And of course, we've just invalidated that descending triangle by breaking that descending resistance. So all we're waiting for is a push above this $120 location for a pump towards the 382 fib and uh, between 125 and 134, which is that left shoulder over here. In last week's video, we spoke of this uh, larger double bottom. And if we were to break out and meet this pattern's target, I think it was, let me just find the other quant chart for you. No, I haven't uh, drawn it on. I think it was the Bitcoin update. Let me just do this now. So a more conservative target, I'm going to do this because we're in a longer term downtrend. But yeah, a more conservative target would be around 165. Let's just call it 165. We've got a key area of support and resistance over here, 169. So we'll just say that this is our resistance. Um, we're expecting the double bottom to start to struggle around that area. But if you are a full bull and you want to be aggressive, we can take the target from down here for you guys. Put it back to the neckline. On the break of this neckline, you see you've got a target at about $195, just under $200 and just slightly under that wick over there. Um, of course, if you remember, we can still pump into this gold box. Reason being, we've only tested it just the one time. It's good that we've tested it because it's saying, okay, this right here, drag it across. This is my resistance. And that's about $147. So when we lost this uh, golden pocket, we didn't have the fibs on. We needed to wait for the bottom. So once the bottom is in, I measure from the top to that bottom. It's just, I'm just measuring this push down. It's going to give me the golden pocket. Basically, if I were to go up against this push down 50, 60%, it's going to mark out those levels. So this is about 50%, 60, 78.6 and almost 80. So you can come as deep as this and still eventually roll over. What I would say is because we've tested uh, in between the one zero, uh, the 050 and the 0618, this is where we could be heading towards out of this small ascending triangle over here that we've broken out of. Will the 200 EMA hold? If so, we, it could knock us back down. But if we can push through it, the next resistance point is between 125 and 134. If this can be cleared, if this area can be cleared, we're going to finish this pump towards 106. 40 to 160 dollars but understand well, 150 to 160 dollars but understand guys this is an area of key resistance from this point it's not expected that we go up because we had such a big dump you're reaccumulating to hit this to then continue lower that is what should happen this is what i'm having in my mind until shown otherwise okay i know at that point like let's say we do get up here we fall back and eventually push through I'll let you guys know. And I know that I'll, I'll of course, of course, I'm going to get trolls at that point because the whole, as we're accumulating here, Louis is saying it should be bearish. And then the moment it goes above, Louis says he's bullish. But this is how we have to view the market. Going up right now is not a certainty. It's not 100%. Nor is going down, of course. Nothing ever is. But what's more likely to happen? That's what I'm looking at. And when we have such a big dump with, uh, of course, something that's outside of our power, an external factor, the FTX uh, just being a scam, after such a big push down, I'm expecting this golden pocket to be retested. It did it the direct next day. So maybe that's why we're forming this double bottom to actually get back up there again, because we've only tested it once. And it was a direct next day after losing it, you hit it. So it's not the greatest of retests. I want to see us coming towards this price again. But even if 
and I'm as you I'm literally saying it I'm, I'm I could be uh, we could be expecting these prices but understand when we do approach these it, we shouldn't be getting too excited because it's at this level where our expectation is that we get rejected because of the large push down and this is a Fibonacci retracement tool and so when you have this large push down you're expecting us to come back into the golden pocket to continue this trend down however if at some point we reject it have another go at it and break above it this is something called the reversal wave now from this moment with the big push down and the reaccumulation this reversal wave is not expected because again big push down the trend is down now we should just expect this to be a lower high which is a bull trap and then we eventually go lower but if at some point we see the reversal wave created we flip this resistance into support I will be the first to let you guys know. But that right now isn't a certainty. Although we are seeing such bullish things right now in the lower time frames, and it's getting everyone excited over on Twitter, over on YouTube, and even in my uh, Discord group chat, we need to understand that there's brick walls ahead. When we get, and I, I really, I can see us going towards it because we're doing all the patterns right down here, this small W as well as this larger W. We're just waiting to see the reactions with this 200 uh, EMA down here. And you can see we're currently at it right now. So going forward, we're prepared for that bullish scenario, but we just believe that this potential bullish scenario will eventually fail. If it doesn't fail, Boom, I'll be the first to, to let you guys know once the signs are there, but there's no signs right now we're creating the reversal wave. You're forming some bullish patterns, which is extremely bullish, but your targets are at resistances, which I've already said can send you lower. We could head all the way to the 786 and still head lower. So this is my uh, yeah my word of warning to you guys to just not get too overexcited, like to not go all in right now. Fair enough, invest as we have a double bottom right now. But will we get pushed down from here? Will we get up to here and get pushed down? Will we have a final pump into the golden pocket? Or can we actually go all the way to 190, meet the aggressive target out of the double bottom measuring from here to here, and still get pushed down? This is the risk. Until we're seeing this golden area literally with our eyes flipped in support i need to see price up here at 150 160 and help me breaking out bullish only then guys i can flip bullish but until that moment until i'm seeing this flipped into support i can't have that expectation in my mind because that would be fooling myself because if we do go down you can only blame yourself so that's why let's wait for things to really truly flip bullish because again we're still under the ema on the daily we're still under the uh, let's just check on the higher time frames and we're still just under this uh these uh emas over here so yeah we'll see what's going forward please like this video let's get this video to over 100 likes of course subscribers we're almost at 5k subscribers leave a comment if you found value you just want to let me know anything or have any questions check out those channel memberships Follow me on my Twitter, it's all linked underneath this video if you want to take action on the course or the mentorship. Cheers.